Hey guys, Trina here, back with another painting demo. Today we're working in the sketchbook um, with more Arteza paints from my current palette of uh, Burnt Sienna, Ultramarine Blue, Gila Okra, Lemon Yellow, and White and Black. Um, today I tried something a little different by gessoing the page before I started painting and letting that dry. I'm trying to see if it will help these paints spread a little easier. Um, there was a little bit of difference, but not enough to make me probably do it again. So that's where we're starting at. Um, here you see here I've added in sort of this Payne's Gray and spritzed it down with water using my Catalyst Wedge to add in some uh, transparent layers. And now I'm putting in this light blue color, also made with ultramarine blue and white and just filling in trying to get some marks down and some color down really fast um here i'm going to be mixing the black with the lemon yellow to create a very rich green color um still trying to figure out all the color combinations with these six colors i mean i might have to actually make a do a swatching video maybe and try to figure that out but I'm having fun just sort of playing with a limited palette um, it does make the work a little bit more cohesive and I'm doing these because I'm getting ready to start on a set of paintings um, with these colors so here I'm just going back with the catalyst wedge um, making some marks and adding in some burnt sienna which I mixed up with the yellow okra to create this burnt orange color uh, and adding it in scraping it away be sure to check out my other videos in this series and I will leave a link above for you to do that and as always like and subscribe if you want to see more painting tutorials from me and demos I guess more demos and tutorials um, so yeah here I'm adding in a little bit more of that green color, adding in some white to lighten up the layers of it. I like the spraying it down with this little spritzer bottle to give it just a little bit more fluidity. Um, that seems to be working quite well. I don't know, I think tomorrow I might try, I have a different set of paints that I might try this color combo with to see if I get something different. I just don't know that I'm very pleased with these paints, so I might be struggling for no reason here. So tomorrow we might try something a little different. Here I'm adding in a bit of Marabou crayon with the sort of a pink peachy pink color. I know a little bit out of the realm, although if I added a bunch of burnt sienna into it, it would get the same peachy effect. But I really wanted to put some marabou on here to add more texture. Adding in a yellow okra there, and now this burnt sienna color. Always scraping, always making marks. Um, trying to create movement and layers throughout to bring your eye around the, the, the piece and yeah. So here I'm going to add in a little bit more pencil marks, drawing back into it. I like this really, I found this really black pencil that has been awesome. It's called, it's called dark black, which is really kind of cool. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Um, here I'm adding in some white marabou. and some of this midnight blue color, which mixed with that okra to make that cool green color. I'm gonna mix up some green here using ultramarine and lemon yellow this time instead of the black. And that gives it just a little bit more of a cooler tone to it um, that you don't get with the Mars black and the yellow, lemon yellow. Taking my palette knife and scraping back in um, many ways to achieve texture 
in your work by using palette knives, catalyst wedges, anything you can use to scrape back into. This is the bit of ultramarine blue that I'm adding in. And my Higgins marker, which I love, love, love um, to make some striking black marks. And that's about it. So I'm going to take the tape off. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos of painting and sketching. And until then, I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Have a good day.